guys, Bleanders here, and yesterday was the 61st running of the Daytona 500. So in yesterday's race, William Byron started on the pole, with his teammate and last year's Daytona 500 pole sitter Alex Bowman starting alongside him in second. And after William Byron started on the pole, he went on to lead for a few laps until getting passed by Ricky Stenhouse Jr. who went on to lead for a little while, until getting passed by Matt Benedetto, who also ended up leading for a little while, until Corey LaJoy ended up bringing out the first caution of the race, which then brought the cars down pit road. Then for the restart, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. restarted back out front and went on to lead for a little while again, until getting passed by Kyle Busch for the race lead. Then with 10 laps to go in the stage, his brother Kurt Busch got loose and spun out trying to pass Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and collected Bubba Wallace and Jamie McMurray who, like Kurt Busch, also suffered damage to their cars as well. But then for the restart, Kyle Busch remained out front and went on to lead the final 8 laps of the stage to go on and win Stage 1. Then in Stage 2, Joey Logano restarted out front and went on to lead for a little over 10 laps until coming to pit road with a group of other cars to do a pit strategy, which then gave back the race lead to Matt Benedetto, who went on to lead until 14 laps to go in the stage when Parker Klingerman and Casey Mears got together on the front stretch, which brought out a caution. Then for the restart, Ryan Blaney restarted out front after pit stops and was able to hold off the field for the final laps of the stage to go on and win Stage 2. Then in the third and final stage, William Byron restarted up front after staying out with a group of cars between stages as he then went on to lead. Then with 40 laps to go in the stage, Cody Ware, BJ McLeod, Tyler Reddick, Jimmy Johnson, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. collided coming onto pit road which then brought out the caution, which then for the restart gave the lead to Jamie McMurray, who then went on to lead for a little over a lap before getting passed by Denny Hamlin, who then went on to lead, as a few other wrecks and spins ended up happening throughout the stage. Then just a few laps before the big one at Daytona ended up happening that collected 22 cars and brought out the red flag. Kyle Busch was able to get around his teammate Denny Hamlin for the race lead. Then on the first attempt of a green-white checkered, Denny Hamlin was able to get back around Kyle Busch for the lead. But then the race ended up going into NASCAR overtime as Clint Boyer tried to come up in front of Michael McDowell, but came up a little too early and ended up wrecking himself right in front of the field, causing another pretty big crash. So then in overtime, Denny Hamlin was able to hold off his teammate Kyle Busch and his teammate Eric Jones and go on to win this year's Daytona 500. So congrats to Denny Hamlin on winning his second Daytona 500 of his career and for dedicating his win to J.D. Gibbs, co-founder of Joe Gibbs Racing, who unfortunately passed away earlier this year in January at the young age of 49. But anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Be sure to put down in the comments below where your favorite driver or drivers ended up finishing in this year's Daytona 500. For me, Chase Elliott ended up finishing 17th, and Jamie McMurray in his final Daytona 500 of his career ended up finishing 22nd, after both of them ended up getting caught up in a few of the wrecks throughout the race, but were both still luckily able to finish. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Or later.